how do you study in surgical residency? How do you study in medical school? What are some techniques that you can use to learn it all? And why is Evernote the best possible study tool out there? We're gonna learn all this today in a short little segment here at Citizen Surgeon. Welcome back to Citizen Surgeon. My name is Dr. Eric Pearson and my goal is to scale surgical education, give you the tools you need to be confident on the ward, in the ICU, in the operating room, and of course to crush your exams. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Share this with your friends if you think it's great content. And of course, turn on the notifications so you can be the first to know when a new video comes out. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm coming off the textbook topics and I wanted to expand on this idea of having a secret weapon to help you study in surgery. And I'm, this can probably be applied to medical school and residency, medicine residency and subspecialties, but surgery, I think this tool, Evernote, is particularly helpful, and that's what we're gonna go through today. And so why do you even need a secret weapon in surgery? And the idea is that over your years in training, whether it's in the operating room, the ICU, watching presentations or grand rounds, uh, reading textbooks, reading papers, the amount of information that you come across is massive. And it's impossible to remember it all. But you have to have a way to remember those really important things. And so I use notebooks, three ring binders. As technology improved, I use uh, laptops or my camera, my phone. But the problem is I had all these different ideas, all these different lessons on different media. And so it wasn't until Pediatric Surgery Fellowship where my co-fellow, Dr. Luke Neff, who is brilliant, came up with this idea that, you know, we should take all these lessons and we should put them into Evernote. And so Evernote is a peripheral brain. And if you haven't taken advantage of this yet, I highly recommend you click on the link. I got a link in the description. Click on it, download Evernote, sign up, because you're gonna find that not only for surgical training, but for life, Evernote as a peripheral brain is probably the highest value app. It's super low cost and I think it's awesome. And today we're gonna go through how you can use that in your surgical training to make everything a lot easier, keep everything in one spot. Now, first I wanna convince you of the idea that you need a system. It's really difficult to learn all of this information and then recall it when you need it if you don't have a system. Now, whether that system is notebooks and highlighters and different colored pens, or whether that system is different folders in your laptop, that's fine. Just develop a system and stick to it. It's a lot like in the how to study guide that you can download if you click in the, in the about section. I talk about a reading system. And so if you have a reading system, you go back to it and it becomes more efficient as you develop it. So when you're learning all this stuff, you gotta have a system, whatever it is, stick to it. I like Evernote, that's what I've been using since fellowship and today we're gonna go through that. Now, why do I like Evernote? I like Evernote because number one, it's easy organization. You can put together your notebooks, you can do it on your laptop, you can do it on your phone. It's super easy to stay organized, whether it's personal information, whether it's email, and especially when we're talking about how to organize your surgical thoughts, it's very, very user-friendly, very easy. Second is it's shareable. So if you have a resident or a co-resident that you wanna build this with, you can share particular notebooks and keep them private between the two of you. And uh, it's nice because then you can build content together and it makes it almost exponential how much content you can get to make it a really rich resource for education. And the other two things I like about it is that you can use it on multiple devices, whether it's your iPad or your mobile phone, and you can use it on the go. So if I'm uh, in a case or I see an x-ray and I want to say, hey, this is a, um, a battery ingestion, I want to take this x-ray so I can know or I can help teach this in a future presentation or talk to the residents. So I'll snap that photo, make sure it's de-identified and put it in a particular notebook and we'll talk about that in a bit. But you can use it on the go, use it on multiple devices and that makes Evernote super powerful. 
And so now let's go through the uh, a few different steps so you can get um, signed up so ready to go if this is something you'd be excited about. So step number one, sign up for Evernote. You can either click the link in the description or just go to evernote.com, sign up, get yourself a premium account. I think it's only like $7.99 a month, but it is probably the best eight bucks that you're gonna spend in surgical residency. After you get yourself signed up, now it's where the magic happens. So how do you organize all of your surgical thoughts? Now you can either come up with all of the different notebooks or one thing that Dr. Neff said is, hey, let's just take the major pediatric surgery textbook. So we took Ashcraft and we made a different notebook in Evernote for each heading in the table of contents. So go ahead and take your favorite surgical textbook. I do have a video that you can look at what my favorite books were, but you can check it out. And um, if it's Sabiston, if it's Schwartz, Greenfields, whatever it is, take the table of contents and make a notebook for every heading. I'm gonna show you what we did for pediatric surgery in our Evernote, but this is the best way to start. Step three is organize your notes. Come up with a system that you can organize these notes so you don't just have a mishmash of cases and literature and MCQs and notes and presentations. Have a way that you do it, and now I'm gonna take you into our Evernote so you can see how we organize these notebooks for the table of contents and then how we organize each individual notebook to make sure that it's easy to find the things we need to. All right, so here we are in our Evernote. I wanted to show you that on the uh, side, as you can see, we took the table of contents and we basically made a notebook for each of those headings in the table of contents. So whether that's abdominal trauma, adrenal tumors, airway esophageal foreign bodies, we looked through and if it needed its own notebook, if it was a subheading, we gave it its own notebook, or if it was a different um, procedure like bronchoscopy, we gave it its own notebook. But basically we took every heading is a good start and then create your notebook. So if you see something, whether it's a Grand Rounds presentation that you wanted to snap a picture of a slide, or if it's a case you're involved in, or if it's an x-ray, you can go and you can take uh, picture and then upload it and I'll show you exactly how to do that uh, on your uh, mobile device. And so for instance, um, let's say that we want to, I'll show you how we organize this. Let's say we want to go into um, biliary atresia. So you can see that in biliary atresia, we have this all organized where we say, okay, if it's a clinical case, we'll write case and then um, whatever uh, the next tag is. So is it biliary atresia or particular anastomosis? I'll take you in like to check out one of these notes that we do. So for instance, take mine, this uh, Kasai that it, um, I did as a fellow. So in an operation, I'll typically take one sheet of paper, put down the important points of an operation. And so here I could just snap a photo or scan that in uh, to my Evernote. So I have that forever. So now as an attending, when I go back, I do a Kasai. I uh, review these kind of highlighted points in what I need to, uh, what I need to accomplish. Um, then I'll have a few operative photos here. It shows the portal dissection um, and then how I'll set up the anastomosis. Uh, so it's a, a really nice resource to be able to do that. If we want to take a look at a, uh, another example here. I can show you. So in the mediastinal chest masses, we have cases, we have literature. So we have um, some information we want to remember, or if uh, let's say there's a, a diagram or a drawing, we can snap and put all that in here. Uh, if we take a look at this one, so a cystic teratoma mediastinal mass, just took a few snapshots, the important cross-sectional imaging. I'll even, um, if there's a uh, video, we can do that. And um, this might take you and I can show that okay this was um, how we looked at this particular mass in the video and that provides a great resource if i'm going to give a presentation or if i just want to look back and see a particular dissection so i hope that made that pretty clear for how to use evernote set up your notebooks and then organize each of those notebooks for the literature or the case or the imaging that you want to put in uh, now i want to take you and just show you how you do this on a mobile device 
and that makes it super easy for capturing either notes or cases or x-rays on the go. So here we are in our Evernote. You can see I have all of the notebooks here just like they are in the desktop version. I want to add a uh, case that I did in the abdominal trauma one. I did this uh, last night and so I can add a uh, new note. I can add a photo from a note. Let's click the favorites here and uh, we'll add this photo. This was a magnet ingestion, a little kid that swallowed a couple of magnets and created this internal hernia through two lobes of bowel. So the nice thing about Evernote is I can annotate this image. So if I wanna add an arrow in, I can draw an arrow. If it wasn't obvious enough to the area of the magnet ingestion, I can kind of resize the photo, put that arrow exactly where I want, make it as big as I want to. And then I can add in my description, whatever I want that to be. So if I want to um, either point out some anatomy or here, I might just write magnet. And then I can make that uh, as big or as small as I want to. I can put it exactly where I want it. And um, then that's, that's the photo. If I needed more annotations, I could add them, different shapes you can put in. I'll save that then I'll title it according to how we organize or I organize uh, my notes. We'll call it case and then magnet, um, call it magnet ingestion. And then that's there, that's in my abdominal trauma folder. So if I need to pull that up to review or for a teaching slide, I can go ahead and do that, super simple. I hope you enjoyed that today. It was awesome to share that experience with you and how Evernote totally changed the way I approached studying and surgery and remembering things. Whether you're an intern, a fellow, or an attending, I think Evernote is that one piece of software or that one app that is indispensable. It is my absolute peripheral brain. And uh, I think that it's really gonna improve your studying and your ability to remember all those little details. So thank you again for joining us. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Share this with your friends if you think it will help and it's valuable content. Leave some comments. Let me know what you're looking for and what videos you would find helpful. Also, turn on your notifications. Check out some other videos, and I'll see you next time.